Do you guys remember this video from Server 32? My family of alliances, the Blood family, has been betrayed by the Dragon family. Guess what has happened again? So I can't believe that I'm going to be talking about this yet again, but in yet another season in Call of Dragons, we have been betrayed. Emotional damage! So yeah, let's react to it. Let's go over the drama that has been unfolding in server 32. We have been knowing about it, obviously, in our server in server 2, but I've kept quiet. But now, after so much barraging, so many questions, and even on the live stream, I did give my little two cents into it. We have the blessing from Chisco, so thank you, the big man, for letting us just react to this video. And I'm obviously going to give you my opinion on the whole situation. Hello everyone, yes, smash the like, comment and subscribe for more daily videos of me, Mr. Sneaky, and guess what? We are here doing my basic clear coverage of this betrayal because honestly, it is crazy it's happened again. But the thing is, what's more crazy is how more brutal, I must admit, this betrayal has become, right? Um, just a heads up, if you've checked, not checked out the video, obviously, I already said it in the title, and I know if Chisco was watching this, I'm not gonna lie, that title you made is amazing. <laughs> just just the fact that you put, we were betrayed again, and everyone's like, wait, what? And then it's just like, also for a guy wheel. <laughs> it was just, I love that little cherry on top, honestly, dude. Perfect little uh, title there. But yes, we are gonna go over this video. We're gonna basically discuss little points, and I'm actually gonna go through only certain areas of the video, because I don't wanna obviously react to the whole massive 19 minutes because again if you wanted to check that out i did do it on the live stream and we broke it down step by step as we were going through and maybe if you want to i could maybe like chop that out and upload that as a raw you know file if you want but we are going to go over some of these so let's let mr cheers go basically go through the intro again and just explain what is going down right we have been betrayed and we got betrayed in the absolute worst, most disgusting way possible. It's actually unfathomable how gross this is. And, and you guys are probably wondering what he means by this. I know this has happened in certain servers, but not in a betrayal way. I know certain servers have been like forced out or certain servers have like, you know, resurged into certain areas to do the same sort of destruction. But this is basically a bit more serious just because of how easily it has been, you know, enabled to destroy this kind of alliance. So we're going to let him go through, we're going to let him cook. So stick around in this video, not only for the spins on Fragar, <laughs> I love but I'm that. also going to tell I love it. A, just an intro to the tale of how we got betrayed this season because the full story is even more crazy and I think that's just going to have to happen in a separate video so there we go that's what i mean so when that separate video comes out i want to do actually a full reaction to it so just go likes this video and obviously get some blessing again guess what we will do the full reaction of the video obviously it would be broken down so if he makes it and it's a 30 minute video i'm just saying guys prepare for maybe a 45 an hour long reaction because we do go a little bit in depth when we're breaking down some of the parts of during obviously the the video so i hope you guys enjoy this video and it's something that you guys might want more on the channel and if you do just put a comment below and i'm happy to do this sort of like drama coverage while kind of staying a bit neutral on the territory so again i'm just gonna let you guys know if you want to watch the full video and watch all the little segments i'm gonna let you guys do that because i'm not gonna take away any content from the main man, right? I only want to kind of react to the main bits. So right now, what we're going to do is go into kind of the very simple explanation of kind of what's going on. And I'm going to actually kind of react to the way um, he explains it as well, right? Because I think there's a lot of, obviously it's high, I think it's obviously just happened. So you can imagine at the time of recording, I must admit, Chisco must be, you know, he must be high rated, but being a professional how he is, he was able to control that and honestly maintain professionalism. I'm just going to say that throughout the video, which is kind of crazy. So let's let's just listen to, you know, the beginning of this but video. first, here. we've got to talk about the drama. And this is, anytime there's a, there's a betrayal video, it requires really a lengthy explanation. True. But the simple true. explanation is going to be so mind-blowing to you. You're not going to be able to fathom that humans actually made these choices. 
I mean, you will. I, it happened, but but it, it's actually astonishing. So let's start to spin here, and I will tell the tale of a betrayal that really I screwed us it. over. In the I love it. Tells the tale of the drama, and guess what? If if you if you for some reason like start watching the wheel and the spins you start getting mesmerized and you lose track of the story but you're too inclined to see if he hits good i love it i just kind of love how it's a double wabby you can't worst go wrong possible with, way yeah. the, the most disgusting betrayal i can possibly fathom but it is like, like that's strong language you may be like Bro. yeah yeah so the, the the language he's using is stronger like he's saying like and i like the fact that like i say he must at the time of recording it might have only just happened right and i think the fact that it's only just happened you've got to think emotionally and mentally you're going to be at a different state of mind and i think that's fine right for the fact that he's able to tell you this story honestly without you know going crazy without just you know being disrespectful or all like that right so let's see what happens because obviously the way he's explaining what the actions that has occurred Basically, he's like the scum of the earth, right? And it is kind of scummy. I'm just gonna say it is. It's kind of scummy what's happened. Um, but we'll we'll let let the big man um, explain that aspect. Right. Do you need to chill? Cause like chill. Let me explain. Um, can you imagine that you are allied with two groups of people? Okay. Yep, I can. And one of the leaders of one group. Yep. Name calls the other. In global chat well that's obviously not okay no all right so we should have a conversation about the name calling in global chat that's not cool yeah um we all agree with that yeah in the time that i went to bed this name calling it happened and when i woke up the group that had been called some names in belleron chat in global chat had flipped sides turned into a full-blown 100% traitor and were inviting the enemies into our starting zone. <laughs> I want you to understand how disgusting that Oh! You probably wouldn't know why I'm laughing, and I'm not laughing at what's happened. I'm laughing at the situation, right? I, I, and I hope you guys understand that. I don't know about other people, but maybe they're not uncomfortable, but... When something in the mind does just not sit right, you kind of like do that laugh. That's me all over. And, and the reason why I'm kind of laughing is because of the situation he's explaining. So, so basically what's happened in Server 32 currently and what's basically triggered this massive drama, which is kind of crazy, is the fact that there's two alliances, right? You've got, B well, we've got BDO and then you've got... The alliances say to the left and to the right, and these are two allied alliances, right? Obviously, Jiskos, um, I think, does. I think those two guys run and obviously have their own council, and they all work together in BDO, right? But then there's obviously these other two alliances with these different types of members. So you can imagine when you've got your main alliance and these two allies, you all obviously work together. But for some reason, what's happened is the leader of one of these alliances has literally called the other one a trash can. Let's just just let's just put it like that in 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 the most basic terms. This guy has gone over in Belleron chat and said, "Dude, you are a farmer. You are trash at this game, right?" And just outspoken, so everyone could see the 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 out call, right? And obviously, Alchis goal says. Kind of uncool, right? Because you're supposed to all be allies. And if that's the case, there must have been a reason in my eyes why he felt like that. And that might not have been happened. And I'm not saying this has happened overnight. This could have been something that might have been even cooking since last season. You know, this could have been something that just slowly, slowly built up over time. And has just basically now hit the penultimate moment where it's just outburst, right? Uh, but basically what's happened, as you can hear, is these two guys... Have had an argument and as Chisco says they would have sought it out and they did try to sort it out and it seems like they did but then he obviously he had to go to sleep right no one can stay awake 24 hours that's just inhuman right but the big man sleeps and by the time he wakes up in eight hours all hell had break loose and i think that's insanity that that's happened so we're gonna let him explain more further and then we're gonna skip a little bit into the video again just so we hear bits more and we don't obviously 
take up all of his video content. That is. So in a seven hour window, not even like in the six and a half hours of sleep I got, somewhere in the middle of the night, there was a name calling and that was so egregious that this group decided <laughs> they are going to I love how he completely even, screw us over. I know he's like throw to the wayside. trying to be serious, but even the way he says it there, you just have to laugh. And I know he probably, as he was recording this, I must have admit, I could see him recording this bit three or four times. Because the amount of times he must have said a sentence like, and they said something, and... And the snowflake melted, and he made like a, a funny joke, and he just couldn't fathom the fact that this whole thing has blown up just because someone was called trash. Basically, and I'm not saying that's the exact word, obviously, right? But that's basically what's happened. Thousands of hours of effort from all the players in, in our group completely screw over all the innocent players that had nothing to do with the name. Yeah, calling. and this is the. the I mean, it's so baffling to me. It is so insane. It is so mental. That a group will be like, why, yes, a little bit of name calling justifies throwing away two and a half seasons worth of knowing some people and being <laughs> their allies in order to what? It's ludicrous. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm laughing because it's ludicrous. And it is. What he's saying is true. Surely, if you have just spent two and a half seasons with each other, you should have some mutual trust. You should understand each other at some level to know that this is not not how things go or this is not okay right so it is it is crazy that this has happened over name calling if it was something for example like maybe they stole a behemoth that that's a different story right say so imagine one of the allies took a behemoth they shouldn't have taken and gained an extra buff like, like they shouldn't have because they broke an agreement of all the behemoths being shed that's a different story right because that's kind of serious but for, for someone being called trash or whatever you want to call it, a farmer in this game, in the season, and just switching sides and be making you the, the enemy is just wrong. And the thing is, so far, as you can tell, the, he hasn't, and I haven't explained yet, why this has gone terribly bad, right? And I'm going to skip forward into the video, uh, let... Mr. Chisgo basically explain what has happened because obviously now you can imagine the the allies so let's say we've got BDO, Team A and Team B and Team B has switched sides um, from BDO and Team A and the giant the dragon family right so what what has happened and that that's basically what you guys are probably wondering and right here is exactly what happened and this is where I'm going to go into it and it's kind of brutal they literally invited our sort of mortal enemies into our starting zone and put us on a 24-hour clock to clear out all the territory belonging to that alliance from our starting zone so that they couldn't teleport into our starting zone and give us literally no safe haven for the next, like, 40 days. I mean, we literally tried to talk to them, say, like, guys, you know, we understand you have a grievance here. Um... And we're not undermining or diminishing that grievance in any way. But could we ask you, out of out of the out of out of the courtesy of the last two and a half months we've been playing together and been allies, could we ask you to just do us the respect of not inviting them into the starting zone? And and no, they couldn't. Now, it's quite complicated why they. Yeah, yeah. So that's basically what's happened. So what's happened is the. This alliance has switched sides to the Dragon Family, basically giving the BDO alliance uh, a timer, a clock to basically sort themselves out and allowed the Dragon Family basically free haven by basically saying to them, look, if you want, you can join our alliance, wait the timer, teleport over and start attacking these guys if you want, basically. If if that might be on the cards, who knows, right? I'm, I'm just assuming, because that's basically what that, that entails, right? That is exactly what that strategy is for. It's backdooring the enemy through through the back door, you know, which is your, your friend, your next, <laughs> your next enemy, uh, friend on the side, right? Which is kind of crazy in my eyes, right? And I'm going to obviously say now, uh, and, and I'm not going to, and you might guys think I'm on BDO side and stuff throughout this video, but I'm, I'm not on their side fully on one point, right? And which I'm going to explain a little bit later when we reach to it. But 
I agree with everything he's saying. I'm just saying, if if you are a leader, and I'm, and if you're the leaders now listening, you can down like this video, you can bomb it, whatever you want, right? Listen, if you have literally just switched alliances because of someone calling you trash or a farmer, guess what? Guess what? Don't be in leadership. You, you are not fit to be leader. Because someone who is so fragile, like a snowflake, that is a, has the ability to just go, do you know what? I'm not your ally anymore. I'm going over there. And, and just join the enemy and just, as well, not just join the enemy and like go on their side. You join the enemy and then invite them to go into the Zord 1 to potentially just destroy this alliance. Because now you have a massive T5 advantage over that um, alliance. I'm just saying you should not be in leadership. And, and the reason is because leaders, in, in my eyes, are supposed to be stable, mature, and respectable. Like, I'm just saying, you guys, especially you know that Chisgo and I'm guessing the other officers at the time during this discussion are obviously Americans, right? So they've got a different time zone compared to other players. So if this has happened during their downtime and you haven't even given them chance to reply or to, to sort the situation out and you just let it spiral out and you have decided, I am doing this and I don't care, then in my eyes, and this is what I said even on the live stream, is simple. You guys have probably had this thought or planned out for a little bit. I'm just saying, I'm going to be honest, because there's no way in God's earth that you break such a strong alliance, such a strong bond and friendship that's supposed to have been happening through season one and season one plus, which even I covered, right? Um, to the point where you just instantly just snap it off over some name calling, right? I'm just saying, there's no way. There must have been, and this is why I'm saying it, and I said it at the beginning of the video, there must have been other factors before. I'm not saying right at this moment in time, but maybe a couple of weeks before this, there was an instant, and another couple of weeks before this, there was an instant, or maybe a couple of months ago, there was an instant, and all these little incidents might have just added up over time, and obviously the leader might have just kept brushing it off and thinking, you know, it is what it is, but maybe it got to him, right? And he didn't just brush it off, and it happens, right? So. That's what I think on this situation. However, however, like I said, I'm not fully on video side because there's there's one thing in this video that I'm gonna let play through and you guys will understand um, why it, where I kind of have this little, little bit of like a, 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 a fr you know, a friction against it. And it's just a statement that's made, that is all. They continued on being traitors. And at the end of the day, I think the design of this game really needs a little bit of attention with regard to the betrayal meta because that's that's the only so far the iffy statement I have, and and the reason why I have this statement and and I'm a bit and I said this again I said this on the live stream you can check it out I'm not a man who who lies I I, I just don't agree with this statement I don't think this is real uh the. The betrayal matter. I don't, I don't know what this is. This is. This is. Um, it just honestly sounds like, and is, and, and I get it. And I'm, and, and I think Chisco once he hears me explain myself, he will agree, right? I think he sees the game in this betrayal matter because obviously you've got to basically, you know, you learn from your experiences, right? And as you, as I know, Chisco has played in server thirty two. And they've been betrayed twice now in two big seasons, right? So his only personal experience of this game is obviously having really good PvP and having fun. But at the same time, he has the absolute flip of it and has been betrayed twice. And both really bad. Not even like a small betrayal either, either side. They were kind of savagery on both occasions, right? So he has obviously experienced two of these betrayals. And the thing is, this has happened on server 32. When I look around the other servers, you know, if we go to any of the normalized servers, you know, server 20, 21, 100, 102, 200, 203, all the way up, none of this happens. 
I'm just saying, there's no, nothing like this happens, right? Because people understand, um, like, this server, the way it's built, is a lot different. It's like a unique stance, right? Because you've got to think, this one, one kingdom basically houses enough players that could basically be equivalent to 10 kingdoms. I'm just saying, you could have these guys spread out and have 10 separate kingdoms and they'd be they'd be perfect fine. They'd be working, why? Because they've got enough T5 players and then they'd have enough T4 players to run and they'd all be on equal level, right? But this server 32 is the odd exception, as you guys know, this is where a lot of the biggest players and massive spenders, YouTubers, content creators, just all alike, even players from Rise of Kingdoms, all of these like different genres of like games players have come from to this server because obviously they knew chase goal was going to be here they know echo gaming was going to be here they know plo or they, they knew just loads of content creators were going to be here on top of obviously the dragon family wanting to come to obviously challenge um the Chisgol's alliance basically from I think Rise of Kingdoms. I think that's what their mentality on it was which is fair game right if that was their original plan but like I said I don't believe in the statement, uh, the betrayal matter. And I only think the reason he's saying that, and I think it's a really good way of putting it, is just because obviously that's what he's experienced in the game at the moment, right? Is this insane amount of betrayal and, and really brutal betrayals with these back doors now as well that's occurring. But when again, when you look at it on a larger scale and not on a one like specific case and a very unique case, I wouldn't say this is true, right? And, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. And maybe the guys in the comments can obviously put your two cents. Maybe you're in a Kingdom Lights um, server 50 or server 100 or 150, whatever, in the higher numbers. And there has been portrayals, maybe. And maybe you guys can put that comment below. But from what I know and from all the community feedback I get, I don't really get any messages about, like, big, big drama of, like, you know... Um, betrayals right it's either like botting accounts or people cheating or selling or buying accounts right these just actions that i personally don't agree with right so that's the only thing i, I was going to say and i just wanted to point out there in this video i just wanted to make sure you guys understood that i personally don't like the statement but i understand where he's coming from right so he has only experienced betrayal after betrayal after betrayal and it's understandable that he uses those choice of words, right? Which is fair enough, right? And that's why I'm not even, I'm not hating on him, right? I'm not even, I'm not putting any negativity. I'm putting a nice base, bang, nice little whoosh. I'm in the middle, I'm being fair game here, right? So we're gonna just let this play a little bit longer and then I'm gonna just conduct my little last thoughts on the server 32 drama. Given the choice of being um, a winner, but a traitor and being uh, a loser that is loyal, some number of people that are in leadership positions will look at the situation and go, I mean, we could just be winners and be traitors. And that's basically, well, I don't know. You know, maybe their motivation was that the comment in Belleron was just so offensive that they couldn't handle it. But, <laughs> but I just find it I so astonishing. <laughs> That they literally couldn't I'm give us sorry, every time. any time at all to be awake and solve the problem. Like, they, they didn't give us a, a, not even not even an ounce of respect and opportunity to solve the problem. So, just to be super clear, someone not from my group, not, not in the blood fam, okay, made this comment. It was another alliance that we were allied with. And so the one group betrayed the other. I mean, I mean they, they, they threw the whole season. They literally threw the whole season. And, and you know, the thing that's so crazy... Um, is that like not only could this have been solved easily, easily, easily <laughs> within a 24 hour window, we could have talked about a solution, right? Really true, really true what you're saying here. Right. Um, they sort of accuse us as if we weren't going to do anything. Like, no, I literally had a conversation with the dude who made the comment, and I was like, hey man, like, you know, as one leader to another, you really can't do that. And he's like, yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. And like, okay, like, we could. Like, it was so solvable. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I, I'm laughing because it's so true. It's just like, it, do you know what it is? It's like you've got two children in the sandbox, and one of them wants to play in the sandbox on his own, and the other one doesn't. And you have this weird little childish fight for no reason, 
and it's like the most innocent and silly fight, and you're just like, play together, it's better. And, and then and then once they like actually figure out playing together is better, the best friends, right? It, it's just such a weird thing that's happened. And and I'm not gonna let the video play any longer, guys. I'm gonna obviously here let him tell his story. If you wanna check out the video, you can. There will be, as you can probably see above right now, a nice linked uh video link to it so you can just watch the full video there and it does go through a lot longer and he's a 20 minute video where he opens up the fragar wheel and won't spoil that because it's honestly very spicy and good good on you chisgle for getting that that uh those spins honestly it were uh to, to see those but let, let let's let's talk one-on-one -on -one right now so basically what's happening in server 32 let's just do a big recap and then i'll give you my thoughts basically Alliance A and Alliance B. Chisgold's Alliance was asleep. He was asleep. The guys were asleep, right? And during they, they were asleep, Mr. Alliance B said something to Alliance A that triggered them. Literally triggered them. Out of this existence, they were so mad. It, it sent them out of the atmosphere. They were just gone. They, they, they were fuming. They became the dwarfs. They became the Belrod angry dwarfs. I'm just saying, right? And they swapped alliances and invited the enemy basically in to backdoor these guys if basically they didn't sort out this territorial control thing. That's how I'm understanding it, right? But like I said, this is not the full video. Um, he's going to bring out a full video on the, the whole event maybe in a couple of days and we'll be able to watch that and do a full reaction to that hopefully if he enjoyed um obviously and give the blessing for this video but i'm just gonna put my last my thoughts into it again if you're gonna get triggered over world chat a don't be in world chat and just don't ever look in world chat because then you'll never get triggered for one and two if you do get triggered really easily to the point that you're a leader that's just going to backstab your allies and you're supposed to friends of two seasons, maybe you shouldn't be a leader. I'm just saying, maybe you shouldn't be a leader because I think someone who's a leader has to be rational. They need to be respect and patient. They need to understand that other people have real lives too. They have to sleep. They might be at work. They might be doing something so they physically cannot be at the computer to obviously sort this out. But as soon as they come on, you know they would, right? That's what makes a good leader, right? So <clears throat> honestly, I'm kind of upset and I'm sad to hear what has happened on Sort of 32. But I think this might be another reason, um, what, which we said, I think many times on the live streams, if you guys have been part of the live streams, that maybe this is time for Chisgo and maybe his group of friends and maybe they sort out um, some guys and they just migrate out and they just start fresh in a new new server where they know guess what these guys maybe who are in the server are cool with us or even better it's just a completely dead farmer server so you can jump in and just have it as your main server right and at least then you can start embracing the game and you don't have to worry about enemies with backstabs unless it happens obviously with kvk diplomacy which is kind of thing that happens anyway right so uh, i hope in the future they recover and honestly i'm sorry to hear this has happened again to, you, um, to everyone that has you know been involved this is all the bdo members and bdm guys and anyone who basically has been affected by it, potentially i don't know if you've been city hit or anything like that but i do honestly feel for you guys and i hope this situation honestly get sorted a lot sooner and hopefully things get better for you guys because honestly this is just not in my eyes it's just distasteful on what's happened right if even if you were gonna switch sides personally just just switch sides and jump over just resurge over to them or something right because if you're gonna do that at least you're playing fair and you're maintaining the order and the respect that zone ones are safe havens but but by doing what you've done, you kind of kind of throw that out the window. So that's where you kind of lost my respect. So hope you guys understand my point of view there. I think it's pretty clear where I stand. I completely agree with what Chisgo's basically putting out there. But 
as you guys can tell, I don't agree with the statement of the betrayal matter. I don't think that exists. I just think it's because of only personal experiences that's happened in this one specific, very unique case. That's the feeling of it. And I understand the emotion behind it. And honestly, at the time, and I can imagine at the time recording, maybe it just after this has all happened, obviously tensions are still high. So you have to remain professional. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Honestly, this was my reaction to Chisgold's video on him being betrayed again in server 32 um, with the Dragon family. And I let his video, like I say, tell you the story. I don't want to take all of his content um, out. There's so much more in that video. Over 12 minutes, nearly 15 minutes that we didn't even cover. And if you check out that, you'll be surprised on how just gritty it gets, right? And I'm just saying, you won't miss out on the Fregar spins because that stuff is spicy too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have, smash a like, comment and subscribe. But until the next one, stay safe guys, stay sneaky and peace out.